Rams and quarterback. The Rams. Duran, 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 Duran. It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports, where we'll see two of the NFL's oldest and most storied franchises. Mm -hmm. It's the Packers and the Rams mm -hmm. under the lights mm -hmm. on Sunday night. I play the Dolphins, the Vikings, and the Dolphins again. I think I put to play offense only by pure habit. And we will not get a run back here to start. It's a touchback, and it will come out to the 25. Playful game. So there we go. Come the Rams now for their first possession. They will be led out by the six foot lefty from Alabama. It's to a tongue of Iloa. If you ask coaches at any level to design their ideal leader of a team, I think they're going to check every box with this guy. He's got the poise to handle responsibility. I, I have no idea. That's a really unfortunate what just happened. His teammates each and every week. Oh, a solid stiff arm and some open field. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. Give him 15 yards to start their first drive of the game. I just let you out. You're not going back out. Oh, they scored. No, Chip. No. You were just out there. You don't want anything. You don't want to go out there for any reason other than because mom gives you food. And those are the most important numbers because no matter what you pile up prior to the goal line, getting in is all that matters. Putting those numbers up on the board. Why? When they're sixes. A gain of five. Good enough for the first down. Well, I sure wouldn't be surprised if we see more of this as this game goes on because we know they like to use their wideouts either on quick throws or on jet sweeps like what we just saw there. And to say that that one worked well, partner, that's the Cool, I'm glad it broke my uh, my depth chart already. Inside the 30. A nice gain of 21 yards. Yep, it's already broken my depth chart. I don't even have auto reorder on. And it's already broken it. Why is my kick my kick returners wrong? I don't know why, but it does this every fucking week, no matter what I do. Yeah, it's broken again. Son of a bitch. All right, you there. You there. Fuck, I gotta fix my fucking depth chart when I get out of here. Because it just, even with auto reorder off, it reorders automatically. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize. You want some chicken wings to cook in the oven tonight? I'll make them. Can you want me to take them out or not? Yeah. Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. They'll try and run for it. Here's Williams. And he's going to take this one in for a Rams touchdown. Kyron Williams. His third rushing touchdown on the year. And the Rams put the Knights' first points on the board as they take the early lead. Tucker with the extra point, And that makes the score 7-0. So the drive winds up going 75 yards in seven plays. And it was capped off by the Kyron Williams touchdown run. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. So here comes the Packers offense now onto the field. And they are let out there by I'm glad Madden just breaks. His ability to adjust on the fly is almost unmatched in the game right now because it leads to a couple of snaps per game where you just sit back and ask yourself, how did he pull that off? Opponents can practice and prepare each and every week all they want. But this guy, he is hard to corral. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent, and that allows you to make a play on it, and oftentimes, knock it away. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. Brandon, watching their tape from last week, I saw plenty of plays like we just saw there, forcing incompletions. It was key in their win last week. They're hoping the same thing happens this time out, too. Fighting to stay upright. My offensive line finally doesn't suck. And he is 
is out of bounds right around the 34. The escapability in evidence there is that one happened for 15 and a first. He's a talented runner, and that means he's always looking for bigger and bigger gains when he takes off. Certainly found some bonus yards there beyond the first down marker, mm -hmm. and this early drive will continue with that extra jolt. That's funny. Legs. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. The numbers for him from a week ago. Six carries, 57 yards. Not a horrendous week last week running the ball, but definitely room for improvement for their numbers. No doubt, they made some slight adjustments in how they're going to call plays this week in hopes they can kick those numbers up a notch. Now it looks like we'll get a timeout, and we will. We've got an injured Packer on the field. Here is third down and four. They'll keep it on the ground. Beal, and he is going to have a Packers first down by about a yard. It's a gain of five on third and four. The Packers at 1-0 and on the year following the win in week one, and they were able to take care of business in front of the home crowd last week. Yeah, it's always nice to get that opener at home, but now things get a little bit tougher. The good thing for them, though, is they take a little extra confidence with them when they head out on the road. Now here's They're playing a empty. First down that's knocked away and incomplete. I'm trying to find Jamison Williams, but it'll be second down. We caught that? Talk about this Rams defense. Yeah, they've been very good what am I supposed to do about that, man? Top 10 ranking at number 10. And I'm struggling a little bit trying to really categorize this crew. They're top 10 in the league against the pass, but the... That's caught inside the 20! And he's going to be taken down right at the 10-yard line. Running their plays over and over during the week can often get robotic for an offense, but on game day, they can often flow smoothly, as that one just did. And it's intercepted at the goal line. And the Rams cool, my safety take better. possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. CD, when he went to throw that, I'm not sure if he just Apparently. didn't see where the defense was. Whatever the case, not the throw you're looking for on first and goal. Not at all, because, look, let's face it, that close to the goal line, if you throw an interception, it's going to hurt on any down. But really, the only down you can kind of live with is if you do it on fourth down. The first three, if you don't have it wide open, just get rid of it. Make sure they can't get it and live to fight another down. First and goal and you throw the pick, not good at all. Going to the air, tug of Iloa. Quick slant to watch. I fucked up. Seven out of this before being I dived. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on. And I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. And his guys Damn, are fuck get you, Stanley. At the 37 yard line. <laughs> so, this is something we didn't see at all from this offense in the victory last week. That's a turnover. They didn't have any, but giving the ball away here in the opening quarter. I love the surprise in your voice because it's exactly what you stated. Didn't see it last week, but it's a key to their win. And it'll be a key to this game as well. Protecting the football. Didn't get it done there. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave them with a second and three. After one, seven, nothing on the eight. The Packers with the football here to begin the second quarter. Yeah. Now second and three. As they've got it as we resume action. Yep. Throw to the right here to Gordon. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Off the bootleg, Bauer. He finds his man complete. That's Beal. A good display of footwork. There we go. There we go. That'll go for a gain of seven. Ninety-nine speed. Second down. Yeah. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And he just chucked that one out of bounds, out of everyone's reach. Maybe a wise call not to take a sack in this part of the field. It brings up third down. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because they're covered.
I'm good for a second. The shutdown level so far, even backed up late. They're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them out of the end zone as the first half winds down. Off play action, Bauer, and that's incomplete. Just looking at it from a defensive perspective, when you break the huddle in the red zone, tight end is one of the guys you've got a key on because <laughs> quarterbacks want the ball in their hands fast in this position and they want to get it to someone. And in this case, he had the play. They just didn't complete it. Now the offense is not leaving the field. They're going to stay out and go for it on fourth and three. They send the tight end Davis in motion. They'll run it with Jones. And not only did he not get in the end zone, he didn't get the first down either. They'll get neither the touchdown nor the first down. And it'll be a turnover on downs. I'm assuming they're going they for this. Made two trips to the no. red zone and All still right. looking for their first touchdown. Not able to punch it in. And if you're on defense, your confidence is sky high. And I don't know if he made it out of the end zone. No That's pretty cool. Goal. Yes, it's a safety. Now it looks That's like we get a timeout, and we will. We've got an injured Packer on the field. Hopefully, obviously, nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, are going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. Take it in at the 22. The Green Bay offense is about ready to take possession here. And last time, they had it for the Was goal, it? Rolled the dice, <laughs> didn't get it. <laughs> A simple tip of the cap, a nod of the head to the defense. Congratulations, you got us last time. <laughs> but you didn't hold us the whole time. We got down to position. We were able to be in position to score. <laughs> Let's go ahead and attack again. Continue to have that kind of confidence. That was pretty great. Not worry about the one play that didn't allow them to get into the end zone. And this time they'll be trying to get it into the end zone. We'll see what they do. Back to the ground, this time with Jones. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. They're, uh, they're going all out blitz on me. Play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. A quick throw there out to Williams. So five yards here, five on the play. And it'll leave them with third and a full yard to go. Yeah. Now a handoff up the middle. It's Beal, and he's going to have a Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. We all love to have a home run hitter in the backfield. Guy can take it the distance, but in short yardage, trying to pick up first downs, that big guy, always oh, a nice luxury to have, isn't he? Slot man moves right. He's going to handle it on the touch pass. Oh, he shifts past him. And he will be out of bounds. A good yardage there, and he'll get a second to catch his breath. As it leads us right into the two-minute warning. They go play action here on first down. And this one is incomplete. They had their backs up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple more times. No, Chip. And get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Now a second and ten. Off the play fake. Bauer. And he's going to be taken down here. A sack back at the 32. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. That's a pretty darn good start. Fine, I'll let you out just so you can walk out for two seconds, come back in, and try to get food. That's all he does. Escaping the pressure right. Push down to do his field. Fire one corner of the end zone. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had it and dropped it. That is an unforced error there, and it takes away what could have been a touchdown. And that is not what you expect from a receiver of his caliber. Sometimes you get a little ahead of yourself. You don't look it in, and all of a sudden it's on the ground. A surprise to all. So add three, uh, all told, after the safety, it's a five-point swing. But that could have turned out much worse. Well, you don't want to say no harm, no foul, but I do believe you're right. A nine-point swing hurts. <laughs> We're having very different games. Like this. <laughs> We're having very different games. Stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. 
Here's Kyron Williams running out for another possession. No. He's been effective so far over the 40 yard mark. I imagine pretty terrible. Quarter. Don't forget about those guys up front, though. They've been effective, too. The oh, we'll the has been in their favor. They've been the ones. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. And That's funny. To the end zone. It's a pick six and a Packer touchdown. Charles, I'm looking at you, and understandably, your mouth is wide open in disbelief. What I get the kick return. Thinking? That's going to be one of the great mysteries, but I do know this. When they went out on offense, I will guarantee they told them, don't just make anticipatory throws. Make sure you see it before you throw oh, it. Oh, I had daylight. That lead, and now they gave it up. And from back there, a wise move. He'll just sit on this one, and it'll come out to the 25. And with that pick six a moment ago, they surrendered the lead. So now Ouch. working from behind <laughs> here, brand new ball game, first and ten. That's pretty gross. Who are you playing? Wow. I was going to say, because uh, to uh, not on the six. Dolphins. Get this into the hands of Hodge. I was going to laugh if he was on the Bears. They just swap quarterbacks. As the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. And he will find his man on the outside. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk at a 45. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Oh, to Darius Fields, everybody. Joint touchdown. <laughs> Jadarius Fields. He's field in the field. Ta -ta 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 touchdown. So the big play means just like that they'll operate against Justin Fields. <laughs> Three plays, 69 yards. Nice. Gonna be taken in here by Nakua. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shot. Where do you think Fields ends up? They'll wind up getting seven on the I think you go to it'll be second down. You see Kingsbury's the OC for uh, the fucking commanders. Man, poor Eric the enemy never getting a job. Again, they will throw it with No holding, it's coming back. Christian Watson in the final seconds of the first half. And the Rams have taken the uh, Christian Watson. That's funny. <laughs> Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and the lead is now two. And he brings this out. Oh, yeah, get fucked. <laughs> Second and twenty five. He's audible. A final shot before break. Bauer. Oh. His throw incomplete. So we have reached halftime here in a tight. Well, everyone's eager to resume play here in this week two contest. So we push right through halftime and back at it for the start of quarter three. Yeah. Fourth and 22. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for uh. quarter. Number three. This playing defense thing is kind of good because it means I can call the defense and it just means I'll never let them score. Uh, well, combined total, I've given up 16 points on the year. Oh, oh, do I have the speed? I might have the speed. I knew I have the speed. Punt return and kick return. Can get a score their own I have not. <laughs> yeah, they want to have that type of. They played the Colts. They had an X Factor quarterback. Take control of this ball game one more time. Been thrown down. They want to see if they kick return and punt return touchdown. Run on first down. Or, or not. Seven leaves them with a second and three. <laughs> Out of the shotgun, it's Jones, and he'll get it up near the thirty-five, right at the thirty-four here. Yeah, 10 to 35 is also a score. All right, Fields. Yeah. <laughs> There's no way they're calling it that. 
so many options yeah. left for him to take. Fortunately, only first down, so he smartly got the yardage he could get and yeah. didn't worry about trying to turn it into a bigger play and end up taking a bigger loss. Here, they hope they can regroup and get something different going here on second down. A nice job there on the escape and scramble of first down, a 16-yard gain. <laughs> that looked painful. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Flush to his right. And this turns into a nice gain with a slide at the end. 23 yards on the tuck and run. I am willing to bet that he got a monster grin on his face when he saw what was happening. Man Cubs were so committed to denying a big throw that it pulled attention away from him, and he had an easy lane to hit, and hit it he did. And now a throw on first down yeah. there, but it's incomplete. Well, defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get yeah, kind of figured that out. Opposite a lot of game plans. They really like running this ball. So ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they bring the heat, and if he flushes out, they're fine with that, and they force another incomplete. Touchdown! You know. A great effort there. I was waiting to His cover the uh, the play act. And the Packers have taken the lead. Cover three spy, but I was uh, seeing if they're gonna run play action. The half. Point after, right down the middle. And the oh, lead is my my so that, that was ridiculous. Did you see that dive? And it ends with a <laughs> so the Packer kickoff. That was a very that was a very Justin Fields throw. <laughs> thought to bring this one out he'll just go down to a knee and oh. he'll take over at the 25 now the attention turns back to the rams offense as they get ready for their first possession of the second half and charles it feels like we're set up for a good second half here came out of the locker room one score game now the lead has already changed hands well this offense they've got an opportunity right now to take that lead right back yeah and it feels like you're going back and forth almost a little bit like a tennis match right and we're just uh, you know our heads just keep moving which side has it which side's gonna score How are they and a 13. a little bit of a challenge for each side trying to match each other tua wants to throw it on second down Firing quickly here, and that's complete. First target, first catch, and a first down. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to. Pick up a first oh, down. There goes my uh, right tackle. Apparently not. Loose inside the 30. Inside the 10. Touchdown, yep. to a tongue of Iloa, 65 yards. They ran a quarterback draw on third and 20. Taking a third quarter lead. Well, plays like that make the O coordinator look like a genius, but I don't That's think pretty funny. that play going that well. No, I don't think so either, but boy, it all worked out perfectly. They caught them in the right defense, guys dropping off into coverage, their eyes averted somewhere else, and guess what? He filled the void with his legs. So the call is made by Sean McVay. They're going to go for two. Team. And he will not make it to the goal line Funny. here. So they'll be unable to bump this lead up to a field goal as it remains a one-point game. I did. The Rams I did. kickoff team on the field. And here we go with the ball in the air. And this taken yeah. in at the goal line. And coverage. And get it up past the 20 to about the 22. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take he wouldn't throw it. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert. That is a pretty good play. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38 yard line. 47 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. So here's a first yes, and 10. Much. The 38. Shame. They'll try a little trickery here on the end around. All right. Well, we're going to just. Like fucking fire zone blitz and just try to murder. Just shy of the 40. A good pick up there, a 22. 
this is one of those plays that has an equal chance of either being a big gain or a big loss. But with the college influence, we're seeing more of these plays come into the NFL. I don't know what I want to call cover one hole. Now a play fake hole. here on first down. Got Gordon open, completes it. It certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense and guys want to be involved. They can be in the One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Off play action. Bauer. Yep. A throw on the run, but that's going to be incomplete. Yep. So another incompletion. Yep. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. That's yeah, right. So let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused yep. trying to complete passes. And this turns into a nice gain with a slide at the end. I guess no need to force it when you can do that instead. First down, 18-yard gain. Back to throw. Bauer rolling to his right. And his throw here is incomplete. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play. Two minute warning. May help save points on the board. I've allowed 16 play. points in two games. Here's second and ten. Oh, a design run for their wide out. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. 18 yards that time to push him up first and goal. And while we're seeing more and more of these plays come from the college game into the NFL, and that one, it was run with great success. How about the evolution of the offensive linemen? We're seeing less and less big guys who can't move, and more and more guys who are a lot. Touchdown, Packers. That's a, yeah, I just tried to get it there. And the Packers answer back yeah. with a touchdown of their own to take a fourth quarter lead. Yeah. The plenty of scoring here of late. I tried. And our lead changes hands now in the fourth quarter. Yeah, they just gave up a touchdown the other end, so they knew that with time getting short, they had to put something together here. And they were able to do so and retake the lead. Um, back. I, I was there, and it just auto-swapped me. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. It's interesting that when it comes to two-point conversions, even heavy run teams tend to throw the ball in these situations. In this case, this one was intercepted. Yeah, they weren't fooled. They were ready for the pass, picked it off. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. The Rams offense now, they get set and head back onto the field. We certainly have a good one on our hands. They're trailing after that last touchdown, but now a chance for this offense to try to snag that lead right back here in the fourth quarter. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. It'd be hard to say that a defense would with ready the for interception a run. And when you can gain that kind of yardage against a defense, it's really kind of geared to stop that play. Taking away the football. You open up your playbook. If you want to throw the ball now for play action, you're good to go. Shame. And he'll have it past midfield almost. Shame, shame, shame. They had very different games. Now on eight carries for him so far. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game. Oh, that's roughing the passer. Snatch victory. Oh, no, holding as I got murdered. <laughs> I got murdered and got a hold of the call. Too shy of the 10. Back to back plays of right around 30 yards, and the field position has totally been flipped. So, how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. It'll be the last play of the game. All right. Now win. 35 10. Danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well. My defense is nuts. <laughs> 
pass is caught. He's got it. Touchdown, L.A. A great play there. His first touchdown of the new season. Poor Donnie. And the Rams have moved out in front here in the fourth quarter. I'm going to go fix my, uh, now for the Rams as my depth chart. Woohoo, plus catching. The two are going to try and throw for it. Sean Warner. Will you? So they tried to I don't even know who Sean Warner is. Is he a rookie? He gained. Oh, no, I got him last year. Gained the speed. His 90 speed. This is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And he'll be All right, right depth chart. Let's been. fix it. Down to a knee. Maybe a yard shy of there. there. Okay, that's fine. Here's first and ten. He'll look to throw. Buying time to his left. That is incomplete. And once he got out of the pocket, you thought that maybe he'd take off with it, especially here in the two-minute drill. Sometimes defenses are focused so much downfield that there's room to run, but this time he decided to throw it unsuccessfully. Back to throw. Oh, and that's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. And he will... It's an interception return for a Rams touchdown. Still an important piece of business to take care of the extra point. I believe in you. And with that, the lead is up to eight. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. Tucker now to return it. And yes. Some good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15. So the Packers. Good. Good. Good pain. <laughs> as they have it first and 10. Throwing after the interception. Bauer eluding the pressure right. Deion McGee has two interceptions. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts. Daniel Garrett has 19 tackles. Holy shit. Played two games. <laughs> 300 yards, 61% completion, four touchdowns, one pick. That's not bad. O'Neal, 143 yards. Patterson's one for two yards and a touchdown. <laughs> Cordani is my leading receiver. And down to the 19-yard line. They'll come up first and 10 here. My center's given up two sacks. Nobody else has. And then McGee has two interceptions. He's my corner. Did you win? Oh, that's good. I have not punted. <laughs> Except like once. Nine for nine on extra points. Cordani has a kick return touchdown and a punt return touchdown. Now first and goal. I'm the number one defense. I've only given up 300 yards. That's crazy. Drops it to Jones in the flat. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Now the Packers going to burn their third and final timeout. As they'll stop him with a little over 30 ticks. I have a 29th ranked game. offense. <laughs> I have seven sacks. <laughs> the only team with more than me has got to be you. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. There have been quite a few plays they might look back on and say, we really have hurt ourselves, and that was another example. And this is late game execution, everything on the line, so it all has to come together properly. The throw is made. Where's the catch? Got to catch it. You don't need him. I'll be right back. Touchdown. So 
in the final minute here now a two-point conversion will tie the game listen to this crowd now their guys need a stop on this two-point conversion they're gonna try and run for it and he will get in the two-point conversion is good and we may be on our way to overtime this one, all we could have asked for. All tied, final minute as it kicks away here. And with time of factor here late, he'll just take a knee and they'll start things out at the 25. The Rams offense now making their way out to take over. And Charles, obviously not much time left. I'm curious to see if there's enough for them to get into field goal range and try to win this thing. And partner, you and I both know the safe calls to kneel and just take it into overtime. But it's also very tough to pass up a chance to win it right now as well. But remember, if you do attempt that, it's got to be a big play downfield and still leave yourself enough time to get your field goal unit out there and kick for the win. Here's Tua. Williams going to get it again on second down. On oh, an excellent tackle there as they keep him in bounds and hold him to no gain. Throwing Tua. Watson making the catch. And they will get the conversion on third down, but the clock, a more pressing factor. And we have free ah. football over time. Here we go, Mike. It's a little teaching moment here. Overtime rules. Remind us how this goes, partner. Okay, so in the past, we had sudden death. First team to score wins, but no longer. Now, if the team receives the ball, scores a touchdown, they win the game. If they kick a field goal, though, or don't score, the other team gets a possession. And after both teams get a possession, then we're into sudden death. First team to score wins the game. And they will play it safe here and bring this one out to the 25. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. All set up for them right now, Charles. Opening possession of overtime. They've got the football. They also obviously have this home crowd behind them in a big way. They get that extra energy from them, but they've got to be careful not to let that adrenaline get away from them and play too fast or create errors of their own making. Use that energy, embrace it, but make sure they channel it the right way. They've got a chance to go downfield, score a touchdown, and end this game. Now he dumps this off over the middle. So a big play in this opening drive of overtime. Now looking at a third and three. Going to the air, tongue of Iloa. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Looking to pass. Tua. Tua hit and the ball is out. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. A lot of bad news on that play for them, wasn't there? Lost the football, lost a lot of yardage, but I think the good news outweighs the able to take possession. That was big for them. All right, returned. <laughs> Tongue of Iloa to throw on second That's down. That's pretty funny. And that nearly picked off. Oh, that would have been a big INT here. At the time. <laughs> They'll get another shot on third down. Though certainly in a pickle here, they have a Leave mile you. to go to try to pick up the first. We'll see what they've drawn up. Don't move. Yeah, the pressure gets there, and Tua is going to be taken down. Goes for it. <laughs> a loss of eight on the sack, and it's going to lead him to fourth down. Yeah, the Lions QB is terrible. Here comes the Rams punter now. On for a very important punt here in overtime. He was called on three times in the win last week as his first one here's away. Take it at the 37. We'll call that a 43-yard punt, two on the return. And it'll be Packer football here. First down and 10. The Green Bay offense I believe in you. to take over. 
Let me go look. Tells me the. Oh, right. He must have got hurt in game. I've seen your receivers. On defense, get a safety, a pick six, fumble return. You can win it as well. I bet it's bad. Packers. Quarterback. Adam Bauer. His running ability has been an extra dimension of their game plan thus far. For once, though, he doesn't create any magic. The running back room is not bad. You could use a receiver, though. <laughs> like, true number one, though. A Cam Wall could be that guy. Your O line is not as good as years past. Mine might actually be better for the first time. Ah, uh, my secondary is probably better. Your D line is definitely better, and your linebacker is definitely better. But I'm pretty sure my corners are better. Oh, absolutely, my corners are better. And we have pro about the same for safeties. Hundred percent, my secondary is better. Yeah, my uh, my secondary is better. I have a better middle linebacker, and you have a better D line than I do. I still have a solid D line though. For the team that loses, and my O line is better for the first time. Situation, it lingers a little bit longer. Now the timeout comes here in the waning seconds of this overtime as we could be set up at long last for a potential game winner. So now this one's going to rest on the foot of their second year kicker. This to win it in overtime. And he got it. The kick is good in overtime. He's able to split the uprights. And there'll be some happy cheese heads tonight as the Packers have won the game. That was an excellent come from behind victory, Charles, especially there in the fourth quarter. Both off.